to In Bed with Natasha and I've got a very special guest, Arthur Arbessa here, fantastic designer. I'm really here to talk today about the fact that you've been a designer working for luxury brands here in Milan for many years and you've just decided to launch your own collection. So the story was I got to a point where um, life got too cozy, too comfy, too sort of every day is the same thing. I launched my collection um, during this last uh, fashion week in February and um, yeah, I just quit my job in November and three months later ah! I had a collection in my Tell me a little bit about your collection because we, we couldn't describe it as, as very Italian in some ways and no. obviously you're not Italian, you're... Exactly, I'm Austrian, I'm from Vienna. So the thing is it's all a little bit Viennese, a little bit boyish, masculine, un po' ragazzino. There we go. Um, but then there are touches of like like strict sort of graphics, lines, it's not it's not a sort of cute, playful collection, but then there is this print that okay. you're wearing there, a little bit of um, this pomegranate print, so that gives a little bit of a romantic Viennese, a little bit melancholic twist. <laughs> I mean, I'm always interested when people say that, who's uh, your idea of your perfect woman? <laughs> I guess she could easily be Scandinavian. Okay, so that was I was trying to get to that, sorry. I, I had to force it out of you. She could easily be Scandinavian, but there must be someone who is um, who has a sense of humour and who um, enjoys good materials and the lovely made in Italy thing. That's a very brave project also because considering um, the time that we're pacing right now economically, it's. I'm also curious about your decision to launch and it's a brave decision at this moment to come out and as a designer and say, right, I'm going to invest in a new collection. And, just, and I'm going to produce in Italy mm. when so many people are leaving Italy in terms of production True. and yet you still feel it's a valid place. Yes, and you know, for me, I made such great connections over the yeah. years here in Italy with factories, with um, fabric suppliers, and there is a sort of um, friendly family feeling between mm. yeah. all these people. So it's nice, they all help each other. So what, you just launched your first uh, uh, presentation, how did it go? It was um, lovely, thanks to the support of lots of friends, yes. um, but it was quite tough at the same yeah. time. <laughs> but the idea is to do women's now. Right now I'm working on Spring Summer 14. Watch the space to see more on Arthur. We'll be sending you the link so you can check out his collection. But now it's time for some yes and no. <laughs> seeing, as, seeing as it's on everybody's tongues right now, Italian politics, how are you feeling about that? Is it yes or a no? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the answer is pretty clear. It's a no. No. Summer in Milan. Um, if, if summer means August, then it's a no. <laughs> if summer means June, it's a yes. Of Mozart? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Austrian pride. <laughs> what about slippers? As mm -hmm. in bed slippers? As in bed slippers? I mean, it's not the coolest thing, but actually it's a yes. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Sophia Loren, something really Italian. Why not? Yes. I she, she, likes, she likes to be young. <laughs> Thank you very much. Then. Thank you. Oh, you know one of the other things that's so good that you told me that you can fit into your actual clothes? Na, na, 